so sweet. So she came from Leech Lake Legacy. And up there on um, the, the Native Reservation, they don't have a, a veterinarian. So we were doing wellness exams and um, they don't have a shelter really up there either. So we were doing wellness exams and taking surrenders because they go up there once a month to help out so that people can vaccinate their pets and stuff. And so she came with two of her puppies Aww. that are about her size. But she's about a year old and just the sweetest thing. She kept her kennel clean up there overnight. She went potty right away when we took her outside. She lived with other dogs and did well and she's just really outgoing and social. She's kind of crazy because she needs a bath. <laughs> Need a bath? Yeah, she has two puppies with her um, that are about five months old. Um, they look sort of similar to her. One is uh, tan, well, really light tan. They're just scruffy little wiry things like her. Um, we're not entirely sure what their mix is. Terrier of some sort, um, possibly Yorkie, given her color. Um, very social, very sweet. And like I said, Nana seems to be house trained, or at least kennel trained, because she did keep her crate clean. Very affectionate, and the snaggle tooth is just something else. She has so much character. She's so affectionate. Um, really social with everybody that she meets. She has a decent energy level, so she, you know, likes to would do good in a semi-active household. Um, not sure if she's been around small children before, so we're not sure how she'd do with that, or or cats. I'm not sure if she's um, met a cat, but she did get to see Rafiki and Fraser up front, and she seemed interested, but not overly interested. She's about a year old, not yet spayed, because she obviously came with her puppies. Um, so we'll be having that done, obviously. Um, they did have fleas when we got them, so she does, and I've seen a little bit of hair, and she's a little itchy back here. She's got some flea bite dermatitis, but I'm gonna give her a bath today and help soothe that. That's something that'll go away with time as um, once the fleas are gone, which we already took care of. So other than that, she doesn't appear to have any medical issues or anything. She's a good eater. Um, like I said, appears to be crate trained. She can get a little sassy with bigger dogs, I noticed. She has a little bit of that little dog syndrome, which is pretty normal for dogs her size. And yeah, like I said, she's got plenty of energy, so she, you know, would do okay in an active household, but she really likes to snuggle and just hang out too, so she'd make a good lap dog for someone as well. New snuggler? Mm -hmm. Perfect size for an apartment or a small house. Um, and she really just needs somebody who wants a companion. That's really what she's all about is 